Welcome back, good viewer. This is the Skyrider. Uh, it's been a while, my friends, and uh, I apologize for that. Uh, I've been busy with various real-life things and uh, some other things like, for example, my entry into the Geek and Sundry vlog contest, uh, which unfortunately I didn't get. Um, but that was to be expected, to be honest. There was a lot of competition, and my video quality was kind of crappy because, well, I didn't invest in the right sort of camera, basically, good viewer. And, uh... It, yeah, it was just a really, really shitty camera. But, oh uh, well. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, I will know better for next time. But, we're here for more Freedom Force, good viewer. Because, uh, well, <laughs> I've left you qu for quite a while, considering uh, the big twist that we left on last time. Because, in the words of the great poets, Alchemist has gone crazy but more on that later. Let's see, time to train up our heroes. Bullet. What do we want for Bullet? Um, ah, yes. <coughs> Excuse me, good yeah, sorry. I swallowed some water which went down the wrong way, so <coughs> still trying to get rid of that. Uh, Hyperspin, methinks, uh, which will allow him to deflect bullets. <laughs> allow bullets, bullet to deflect bullets, and bullets to deflect off of bullet. Bullet, bullet, bullet. <laughs> it's that thing you get when you uh, when you say a word often enough, it loses all meaning. Uh, green genie. Ha. Huh. And now I'm swallowing my own hair. This is not going well, good viewer. Let's put a point into object lesson. A couple of points into polymorph. Um. A couple of points into static zap. Get that fully upgraded and. Yeah, another point you need to sow the wind. Because we'll be needing Genie for the next mission. And uh, several others, in fact. Liberty Lad. Uh... <coughs> uh, let's get Molecular Excitation. Molecular Excitation? Is that what you call it? I believe it is. We'll go with that. Um, another point into Firecracker. Another point in. Another two points, in fact, into Molecular Excitation. That's fun to say. Man of War. Uh, for him, we will upgrade some of his current powers, like Magnetic Harbor, uh, Pressure Punch. Oh, that's all that can be done. Oh well, you can buy Kraken Scales next time. That's all rather useful. The Invaluable Mentor, uh, who we had on last time. Let's... can't quite get Kinetic Barrier, unfortunately, so instead... Upgrade trusty electron beam, because um, we want we want to be left with about two hundred points there. So, fully upgrade instinct dominance, and <clears throat> another point in disorientation that will leave us with eight hundred and five CP next time, which is enough for kinetic barrier. And finally, the bard, uh, beautiful, beautiful is always useful. Uh, basically, means that um, enemies have to pass. Uh, yeah, make a successful resistant check against hypnosis, uh, which is all rather useful. Uh, let's upgrade Crispin's Cry. Ooh, a last poor Yorick, that is rather expensive. Oh well, uh, but it does give the Bard uh, a much needed range attack. Ranged attack. Enunciation, darling, enunciation. Um, which is all very useful for him. Okay, so. That's, uh, that's our heroes trained up, good viewer. Let us see what havoc that Alchemist has wrought. Minutes earlier. Um, Mr. Tombstone, have you seen El Diablo? I can't seem to find that hothead anywhere. Hey, Toomey, you in there? I am reflecting. No, I have no insight into the present location of your future husband. Future what? Maybe they don't hear so well on your side of the grave, but I said... What's going on? Manbot? How did you... To make a long story short, lass, the wee witch has brought our metal friend back from the great beyond. Freedom Force! Chaos is breaking out all over the city! Good gravy! Entropy is attacking the Opera House! Entropy? That's right, Bluegills. 
It seems that your mate, Alchemist, has gone a bit balmy and become some kind of creature called Entropy. She blew up the room, made a wry comment, and then flew out through the roof. Alchemist did what now? We need to get a team to the Opera House. I'm picking up a kind of energy I've never seen before. I'm going to stay here and analyze it. Let's move, Freedom Force! Epic music. Let's move, Freedom Force, indeed. So, some sad news, good viewer. We are unable to use the ant. I'm trying very hard to contain my... <laughs> contain my emotions at this. Because... <clears throat> Immortia Skyrider. Immortius? <clears throat> I'm fine now. We're unable to use the ant this mission, unfortunately. Uh, but that's alright, because we have other heroes that can do the job that we'll need, f the jobs that we'll need for this mission. So, let's go with Eve. Green Genie will be especially useful here. Um, who else do we want? We want Manbot, the newly returned Manbot from the Celestial Clock. Uh, I've mentioned before, good viewer, that this game is sort of divided up into three thirds, and uh, you'll see that there are certain heroes that are that are not available in certain thirds of the game, like um, Manbot. Obviously, is only available in this last third of the game. The World War Two heroes weren't available in the first third, uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, and more about that will become apparent later. Uh, so we'll want to be using Manbot for this because he'll be. Obviously, he's very key to the story in this last bit. And Tombstone. Trusty Tombstone, always useful. Uh, particularly for this bit, I think. So, good viewer. After much uh, delay, it is time once again to enter the fray. Ah, freedom of force! Right on time! Entropy said you couldn't resist a chance at heroics! But now that you're here, we can end the overture and commence with a symphony. Stay and destroy them, my minions, while I go backstage. Holy cow, it's that atonal Italian. How the heck did he get here from 1943? Stop him, team, before he makes cannoli out of the city. <laughs> before he makes cannoli out of the city. Okay, good viewer. Yes. Once again, it's Fortissimo, that frack. And we've also got uh, new some of his minions, the Legionnaires and the Centurions. I've worked out the difference now. The Centurions are the ones that throw the spears. They're very annoying. But also, as we saw in the Celestial Clock, a wraith of chaos, deadly hovering minion of entropy. You well, take those out, Yep, yeah, there, the, uh, there goes the exploding spear, which is not good. So let's start this off with an acid arrow. Because these fuckers are very annoying because they dodge everything. Uh, right. Eve. No, not Eve. Uh, Genie. This Give Tombstone a speeding uh, speed boost. Rex. Very useful ability, uh, speeding frenzy. That's a very useful ability of Genie's, is this. this uh, because obviously there are some characters who are quite weak in the speed area, and like Manbot, so if you give them a speed boost, it makes things much easier. We're going to deal with this Wraith of Chaos here, good viewer, because we have many secondary objectives in this mission, uh, all of which revolve around saving the buildings. Uh, first of which is the Opera Center, so... Okay, so Tombstone will attack the minions there. Very nice Tombstone, with Dead Reckoning there, because Tombstone is also an energy being, as are the Wraiths of Chaos, and Tombstone is weak to energy, radiation, and electricity, hence why I've chosen this combination of heroes. And unfortunately, these bastards do have a nasty habit of constantly going after Genie, so you do need to be rather careful in that sense. Double uppercut, a very useful ability of Manbox there. Because as we all know, gravity is our friend. Okay, good, that's another one down. And he's stunned, excellent. Get over there, Manbot, give it a double uppercut. Ooh, it did hit. Now it's a time for a dance! More of them just appeared. Where are they coming from? They're attacking the Top Hat nightclub, and there's a senior prom going on there right now. Save those kids before they're turned into mincemeat. We're on it, Ant. Uh, yes, um, polymorph into an ice trooper. Never thought I'd be pleased to see them. Or nuclear winter, indeed. Um, 
Double Uppercut does have a bit of Diablo syndrome going on in the sense that it never generally hits anything. Like that. I've never seen anything like it before. It must have something to do with alchemy. I mean, entropy. I know how nuts this is going to sound, but she must somehow be bringing all those chokers forward in time from World War II. Okay. If Alchemist has gone mad, then surely I must be held to account. <laughs> Typical man bot. <laughs> Always uh, self sacrificing and so forth. Okay, Tombstone possessing that guy over there. Genie, get over here. Oh no, that didn't work. Because the uh, Centurions, of course, can save their allies from such things like that. So, back off, everybody. Sow the wind, Genie. That's not sowing the wind, Genie. That is, in fact, the opposite of sowing the wind, Genie. So, once again, sow the wind, Genie. Up he flies. You'd be surprised how useful gravity is in this machine gun viewer. It actually does a hell of a lot of, um, for me at least, it does a hell of a lot of the damage, uh, which is excellent. So, Tombstone. Yeah, they do, they really do like going for Genie, which is very irritating. Because, of course, she's so, um, she's, she's squishy. Save you in a minute, madam, once we've dealt with these whacks. You shall fall before me. I doubt it. Object lesson, Genie. Take him. In fact, no way. Object lesson. Take him out of the game. Nice. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> Almost uh, got a hot dog cart on top of Tombstone's head there. How is he still not dead? Forgive me. Nice one. Eve, back off. Uh, Tombstone and Madbot close in. You do have quite a lot of... The, the game does sort of start ramping up in difficulty, I think, here. Double uppercut, man bot. That's not what I wanted to do. There we go, up he flies, so he doesn't fall on your head. We'll do a phantom punch tombstone. Almost. Got him! Right. Before we move on to another one, let's grab a health canister. There are fortunately quite a few health canisters around here. Good viewers, so be sure to make use of them. Freedom Force, stop him! Please. We're on it, and evil is nearby. I'm detecting more of those weird energy surges. I think something's happening to those cops. Something weird. The policemen appear to have gone berserk. Entropy must somehow be behind this. Uh oh. Okay, so more uh, more rates, more legionnaires. We only had legionnaires on that last one, so that's not too bad. But this one is trickier because if you want to save the police station, you got to be quick. Got to take out those rates. So Tombstone, in you go. Can be doing this. His men are also being hurt. Oh, okay, let's go in with a dead reckoning, Tombstone. Yes. Genie, head in there. Remember flying cops from the last game, good viewer? They're not gonna like it this time. So the wind, Jimmy. Good, that's one. We flying cops. Uh, Eve, back off. Let's see. I oh, know we don't need to acid him in the face because he's almost gone. There he goes. Jimmy, get over here, quick. We need to take out that wraith before he destroys the museum. Not the museum, the police station, but you get the meaning. Come on, almost. Got him, okay, good. Shh, officer in trouble. Yeah, fortunately these bastards don't fly like Deja Vu's minions did, so that's a plus. Okay, so the police station is now severely less of a police station, but it's, it's still got that cabinet, and it's still got these tiles, and another cabinet. Even better. <laughs> I do like that about the Freedom Force buildings, like, for example, how this still cons consists of an opera house, even though it's had a vast majority of it destroyed. Oh well, we saved it, that's the important thing. Okay, double uppercut man bots. Eve, shoot that last cop. Ooh, no, there's another cop. Tombstone, punch him. Okay, Genie, back off. Uh, Officer, shut him down. Okay, 
What the hell? Oh yes. We more flying. <laughs> Indeed, Jimmy. Power time. Oh, I've missed you, man, boss. Almost. Okay, now then, he's not so interested in Genie, which is good. Punch him in the back of the face. He's going after the Natural History Museum. The artifacts in there are irreplaceable. Yes, good viewer, he's back for the third and final time. Though, if you look at the title of this uh, episode, you'll probably already have guessed that. Okay, let's focus down the road first, because they can do a nasty bit of damage. Ooh. Sound cone of doom, everybody run. Okay, tombstone, shoot it. Genie, zap it. Man bot, blast it. Yeah, you'll probably guess that to that Fortisco is in this episode, did you? Because, um... I, uh... Ever since I, I've sort of started a theme, each time that uh, Fortissimo appears, I give the episode title, uh, episode of title, uh, that tells you that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's a bit of a spoiler, but oh well. Got to keep up with the theme. Whoops, back off. Not quite as effective as I'd hoped. Uh, move in to stone, and take out that Centurion. Nice. Oh, I do love Dead Reckoning. It may take up all his energy, but it's so useful for taking out nastily powerful minions like the Centurions. Okay. Right. Let's, uh, let's play indeed, Genie. Let's shake things up. And do our favourite trick of turning him into a vase of flowers. Eve, pick up that vase of flowers if you would, madam. Keep him up to a stone. This is why I've built Tombstone up really good for you. Well, not it, not just for this mission, but Tombstone is such a useful character that naturally in this game, when you use a character more, they get more powerful. So, well, not just in this game, that's a general RPG rule, but you get my meaning. Okay, good viewer. As uh, we, f we find uh, time repeating itself once again, because we have to take out Tombstone. Tombstone? Fortissimo. Um, once again, and we're going to have to do that with grinding. So, okay, down you come, Tombstone. No, why do I keep calling him Tombstone? That's just completely wrong. Okay. Instead of, let's uh, have, however, let's have a You can tell I'm out of practice, good viewer, because I really just cannot talk. Tombstone, instead of sending you up, let's bring Fortissimo, or at least I would have brought Fortissimo down if that had worked. Fortunately, we can pierce uh, Fortissimo's bubble with arrow. That's one reason why Eve is so useful for this. Keep it up, Eve. Just keep shooting him. 13 points of damage a time, I'll take it. Let's see if we can bring him down with Spectre shots. Come on. Down you go, Fortissimo. Down you go. Go on. Go on. Fall down. Fall down. That's not falling down. That's falling down. Gravity is such a beautiful thing. Okay, let's see if we can get uh, an acid out of the Shoot him. Damn it. Okay, keep going. <laughs> More arrows. At least he's a pretty big target, so it's going to be damn hard to miss. Manbot, up you go, man. Because of course, Manbot can fly. In fact, so can Genie. In fact, why am I not doing Static Zap? Because that's incredibly useful for this. Because uh, Static Zap can also penetrate Fortissimo's shield. Down he goes. Whack, whack, more things to whack Fortissimo in the face. Uh oh, run. Especially you, Tombstone, because otherwise it's going to hurt you. But only with five points. That's remarkably tame for Tombstone, because he's weak to uh, energy attacks. Try this for a sound off, mate. Eve, start it. Up, oh, there we go, Genie. Once again, Fortissimo, you prove that you are no match for us. 
irritating, but not too much of a challenge if you have the right heroes. As I've said before, if you are that, uh oh, that, uh, that blasted, um, only seven damage. Man, Tombstone really has improved. Yeah, so that that bubble can be annoying, but if you have the right abilities, as I did, very nice, Eve. I didn't expect Eve to be able to take him down that quickly. But oh well, he's been taken down, and that's the important thing. So, good viewer, before we interrogate Fortissimo, I believe there is something around here? Something around here somewhere? Ooh, hang on. Ooh! There's a prestige canister in there. I hadn't noticed that before. Genie, get over here. That wasn't actually what I was looking for, but that's a serendipitous thing. That's what I was looking for. Grab the experience canister. Genie, man ready for mischief. <laughs> yeah, you do have to be careful of the flying cars and everything. Uh, because, um, well, some there have been some strange things happening here. Cops uh, turning oh, evil against us. Like you could use a laugh. The Wraiths of Chaos. Well done, Genie. Fortissimo coming back, just what on earth is Entropy doing? Okay, man lot. Let's uh, take to the skies, or else we'll be here all night. Shh. <laughs> I noticed this before, hang on. <laughs> Mentor says, don't let your mind go to waste, stay in school. Oh, sorry. Mentor says, don't let your mind go to waste, stay in school, or the whole world will be in danger, Freedom Force. Uh, I, I can't do a good mentor voice, I haven't had enough practice. Um, right, in fact, I'm not sure here. Manbot, grab that health canister. Genie. Is there another health canister around here? In fact, we don't want to give it to Genie, we want to give it to Tombstone. And Eve has remained remarkably healthy. Hasn't taken much damage over the course of this whole mission. There is a, there is a point to me grabbing all this health, uh, good viewer. As you probably guessed, because... That really would just be the worst sort of padding if it's just like, ooh, uh, Genie, you can grab that one. That really would be the worst sort of padding if, um, <laughs> it's like, I know what, what'll extend the episode, I'll just grab all of the health canisters, even though ending the mission, even though it would end the mission by talking to Fortissimo. <sighs> Excuse me, good viewer. Okay, Manbot, pick that up, except he can't pick it up. Why can you not pick it up, Manlot? That's just... that's just silly. Okay, let's try focusing it out of the air. Shh, of course you can't do that. Because that would just be silly. Okay, fly. Now try grabbing it. There we go! A little anti-gravity is all one needs in life. Top hat nightclub. Okay, everybody converge. In fact, actually, don't need to do that, because of the magic powers of teleportation. Show him, Tombstone. Do not hurt the Fortissimo. He will tell you all about the entropy. He will sing. Dinosaurs. It's always bloody dinosaurs. These games always have to manage to fit a dinosaur in somewhere, don't they? Okay, give you a. We've got a T Rex. A bit tougher than the last time, if I recall correctly. Fortunately, however, we have some tools to take can him I down. Be of service? Yes, you can, Eve. Acid arrow him in the face. That's not a good start. Okay, yeah, he's. Stomping everywhere, that's not good. Okay, Genie. <laughs> and he's causing everybody to scream, which isn't good either. So, um, no, we don't want to object lesson you, we want a speeding frenzy. That's what we want to do. This should perk you up. There we go, okay. That's the first 
Run, run. That's the first sensible thing you guys have said all day. Spectre shots in Tombstone. Oh good, seven points in and he's already mad. Uh, my need is for you to blast him in the face. Hmm. We might be here a while with you. Okay. Eve, I've got a better idea. Bind him. Binding vines. Uh, that was a useful ability back in the day. Nice. Tombstone, get over here. Nope. Stop it, man bot. Because what we want to do is dead reckoning him. That's more like it. Okay, back off. We may be seeing a repeat of that trick quite a few times, good viewer. In fact, why not indeed? Let's uh, let's grab that power canister, Eve. It's hopeless. In fact, no. Tombstone would be better with the power canister, wouldn't he? Eve, genie, manbot, draw him over here. Tombstone, grab that power canister, sir. Because otherwise, we're just going to be uh, chipping away at his health. Oh, there's anything wrong with that. It just takes longer. Because 287 in 5 point increments is a lot. I can't do that amount of maths that quickly in my head. Okay, bind him, Eve. Hopefully this works. Yes, it does. Back off. I am helping you, mate. Can't you see me punching the giant dinosaur in the face with punches of energy from beyond the grave? Tombstone's pretty awesome like that. In fact, let's frack it. Tank it, Tombstone. Yeah, screw it. He's got the energy. Tombstone, tank it. That works pretty well. I'd completely forgotten how powerful a tank Tombstone was. That's, that is very good, good viewer. I've said it before, good viewer, but you really do... Well, I'll tell you in a minute. <laughs> Alchemist, this madness must stop. Well, if it isn't Manbot, come to thank me for bringing you back. I warned you something terrible would happen. And now look at you. You've changed, Alchemist. You've... You're right, I have changed. <laughs> I thought I had power before. I knew nothing of power. Come with me, Manbot. With your endless supply of energy X and my control over the very nature of existence, we would be unstoppable. Alchemist, Catherine, think of the people you are hurting. Oh, honey, you don't know the half of it. Every second, the realities I created smash into the reality that once existed. You are both trapped in the clock and here at the same time. Already, the strings of your world are coming untied. <laughs> and frankly, darling, without your help, well, I'm just too small and weak to keep that from happening. Do you mean... Yes, my love. Either come to my side and share my throne, or stand and watch as chaos swallows your world whole. In a phrase, shit boys. <laughs> that is not good. Alchemist has, in fact, gone all Jean Grey on our asses. Can't remember if I've said this before, good viewer, but <laughs> I actually did, um, right, if you remember right way, 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 way back in my first, uh, the first episode of my very first Let's Play of Freedom Force, uh, I actually called Alchemist the Jean Grey of the story in reference to this moment, because she's not only a sort of, has got sort of psychic, mystic abilities, slightly different to genes, but you know what I mean. Um, she turns evil. She goes all Dark Phoenix on us. Right in this, uh, this last third of this game. <laughs> uh, that shows you my, what, what sort of ambition I had back then. <laughs> well, and that I still have, anyway. Um, so, good viewer, we managed to take out, for some reason, we've taken out two Fortissimos. Don't know why. Oh well. Uh, and a T-Rex, Wraiths of Chaos. A Wraith of Chaos, incidentally, good viewer, is worth as much as a T-Rex. That says a lot. That says a hell of a lot, in fact. But uh, we still only get that amount of uh, prestige for them. But oh well. Oh dear, we lost civilians. 
well, mind you, in something like that with all that AoE flying around, it's sort of inevitable. But oh well. But yes, uh, it's like I was saying, that sort of tanking method with Tombstone, I that was completely improvised. You know, in some missions I'm like, uh, I'll be thinking ahead, oh right, that mission, okay, I'll use that strategy, that works, that works very well. But there, I'd just like, yeah, just give Tombstone the energy canister, uh, which allows him to constantly dead reckoning the thing down, and he can just tank it, because he's got so much health. I, and he's resistant to the uh, to some of the T-Rex's attacks, I've completely not considered that before. But it works, <laughs> evidently it works. <laughs> Um, that's what I mean when you can when I say you can just uh, discover uh, new things about uh, about the game, no matter how many times you play it. That's one thing I love about games: discovering new things, even if you happen to be an expert in them. Uh, so yes, good viewer, we saw there the downfall of Fortissimo, and we saw uh, entropy, alchemist, dark alchemist, whatever you want to call that. <laughs> but uh, good viewer. We'll have to leave Freedom Force to uh, determine what to do, and see if they can in fact save the world once again. In fact, not just the world, but the whole universe. In fact, even bigger than that, the whole of reality itself. And on that depressing note, my friends, I will bid you farewell. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been the Skyrider. Farewell, until we meet again.